What's going on everyone? It's Super here and welcome to another Injustice 2 video and today we're gonna have a pretty quick one We'll see because I, I did want to have a little discussion with you guys about the final character which I'll go into in a bit um, But before I do that as always if you guys do enjoy the Injustice 2 content Make sure you guys do a like rating on the video But the main reason I made this video is because we got some information on some new gameplay that we're gonna be getting soon Not a watchtower live stream. Let me repeat that Nothing's been confirmed yet about a Watchtower live stream, but I would assume that they would have one this week um, showing off two new characters. But we're going to get some brand new Catwoman gameplay. So the only Catwoman gameplay we've seen so far is her in the Here Comes the Girls trailer, and that's about it. Um, but the official Injustice 2 Twitter tweeted out, Hashtag Catwoman wins. Tune in tomorrow, April 3rd, for an inside look at Selena Kyle's deadly moves in Injustice 2. So I'm really looking forward to see this. Um, it's probably going to be one of those Tyler Lansdowne type breakdowns where he goes over a couple moves of the specific character. I don't think it's going to be like a full on in depth gameplay breakdown, but you know, I'm sure she's going to have her time to shine during one of the Watchtowers. Any new information on Watchtowers or any of that sort, I'll keep you guys updated. But we are going to be getting some Catwoman gameplay tomorrow, and of course, I'll have it up on the channel for you guys so you don't have to worry about that. Go out, enjoy your day. I'll be the one glued to the uh, computer screen waiting for the uh, waiting for the gameplay reveal to happen. So that's going to be happening tomorrow. Definitely excited for that. Um, but the other topic that I want to talk about was the final, or I should say, is the final reveal character, who is uh, you know 99% sure it's going to be the Joker, unless you know Netherrealm has special characters like two secret characters that they haven't revealed yet there are only two spots remaining for regular roster characters and then we have the nine dlc characters so one of those spots belongs to dark side which is a pre-order bonus and the other one is the final main roster character who is most likely going to be the joker and what I was wondering is, we're only in the first week of April, right? So, Injustice 2 doesn't come out until May 16th, or is it 15th? I think it's May 16th. And we're, we're a month and a half away from the release of Injustice 2 with only one new character revealed to go. Um, so, I, I'm wondering what NetherRealm is going to do to sort of fill in the gap and keep the hype going because we're all excited for Injustice 2. And that's because we've been getting a good dose of new Injustice 2 content, information, gameplay, week after week after week. That's why the game has so much hype right now. We're all like really excited to play because it's like week after week we get new character reveals and just more information. Um, so I'm wondering what they're going to do to, um, I guess, replace the new character reveals. Because after the Joker, the only other character that they can reveal is dark side which of course that's probably going to be his own separate gameplay trailer and i'm looking forward to that and i'm wondering when they're going to release it because they they need to give people a reason to pre-order the game right dark side is a pre-order bonus and people are like i haven't seen anything about dark side why should i pre-order the game you know what i mean a lot of people are probably going to have that mentality Maybe not uh, you or I, but a lot of people are going to be like, uh, I'll just wait for the game to come out, see if it's good, if I like it, you know, I'll buy it. Um, but fans of Dark Side, you know, they're waiting. They're like, oh, this might be my ticket to buy the game. You know, he's a pre-order bonus. So he's definitely going to get his gameplay trailer eventually. I'm just wondering if the last character is going to come out first as a gameplay reveal or we're going to have Dark Side gameplay reveal. And there's probably going to be at least one more Shattered Alliances trailer. I was like, uh, they might keep it at five. You know, five is a nice number to end things off at. But realistically, I think they'll probably end it at four. Uh, I think the next Shattered Alliances trailer is probably going to have the Joker in it. Maybe a Joker teaser or reveal, and that's how they're going to reveal the Joker. But who knows, they might throw a curveball at us and just have a Shattered Alliances with no character reveals whatsoever, just like continuing to tease story mode. But interesting stuff here, because like I mentioned, we only have one more character reveal and Darkseid. So I guess two characters, 
two character reveals in the next month and a half only and you know we need like maybe not us because we're gonna be excited no matter what but for a lot of people who might not keep up with you know my channel or other content creators channels who cover the news and all that and just you know occasionally hop on on youtube and or are sub to the injustice youtube you know waiting for character reveals and stuff they they need something to be excited for the game and i think the watchtowers are definitely going to help with that because uh they still have a lot to talk about especially the way they make us sound they they make it sound like they have a lot of secrets and unannounced things. Um, so what I'm thinking is going to happen is there's probably going to be like maybe two watchtowers a week. That wouldn't be like too far of a stretch to watch towers a week. Uh, you know, maybe one week focusing on just gear stuff and then two characters for another one. That's two watchtowers streams right there. And maybe one for the mobile app, which they said they were going to do. And then another one for two other characters. You know, that's... Two, two Watchtower live streams a week definitely makes sense, but it's probably not going to happen until maybe, I would say, three weeks to a month before the game is uh, going to be released. So, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section. I'm really curious, and I'm, le I'm really looking forward to what's going to happen during this next month and a half when we only have, you know, pretty much two characters left to be revealed that we know are coming which are the Joker and Dark Side. So that's going to be the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time. What's going on, guys? It's Super here. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you guys subscribe or check out any of these videos linked at the top. Thank you, and I'll see you guys next time.